In Inuit mythology, Sedna is the goddess of the sea and marine animals. She is also known as the mother of the sea or mistress of the sea. Her symbols are water and eye and fish. The legend of how Sedna became a sea goddess is told throughout the Arctic, with variations from one region to the next in all versions. A young woman becomes the mother of all sea creatures. Here is one version of the story. Once upon a time, in a small Inuit village by the sea lived a beautiful girl named Sedna. Life was simple, but the winters were long and harsh. Sedna's father decided she must marry to ease their burden. Despite many suitors, Sedna found none of them good enough. Then a mysterious stranger arrived, intriguing Sedna with his novelty and generous offerings. Sedna, against her better judgment, married the stranger after the wedding. They journeyed to a deserted island, the stranger's home. Here, the stranger revealed his true form. He was a spirit bird disguised as a human, trapped on an island with no escape. Sedna was placed inside a nest surrounded by a swarm of birds. Her cries of despair echoed day and night until her father, missing his daughter, came to visit. Horrified at his daughter's fate, Sedna's father decided to rescue her. But the spirit bird was not going to let Sedna go that easily. In the ensuing struggle, Sedna fell into the sea as she tried to climb back into the boat. Her father, in his panic, cut off her fingers. Sedna sank to the bottom of the sea. Her fingers transforming into seals, walruses, and whales, she became the sea woman, the goddess of the sea and marine animals, ruling over the Inuit underworld. In Inuit tradition, Sedna and the shaman have an alliance. For example, a shaman will comb Sedna's hair into braids to make her happy and soothe her anger. When she is happy, she allows her animals to make themselves available to the hunters. Hunters seeking to feed their family depend on Sedna's goodwill because she controls the supply of animal life as food. Inuit shamans believed that if hunters were not respectful of the animals or their spirits, such as hunting more than their share, Sedna would withhold the bounty of the sea. Sedna is important to Inuit living in coastal areas because the sea animals she controls are essential to their survival. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel for more such stories.